Welcome, my friends, to the show that doesn't end. Final Cut, and yes, today on the Trap in Black is an independent film that is on video on demand right now, and I do believe out on DVD release, and it's called Nobody Gets Out Alive. Now, Nobody Gets Out Alive tells us of a group of friends who head out into the woods for a camping trip, and the woods they pick? Why, it's the woods where urban legend says that anyone who goes in these woods gets killed by a crazed uh, serial killer who is out there. Well, they decide to tempt fate and go out there and, uh, you know, test the legend, and they come to find out that some legends could actually come, become true. Ah, let me tell you about this. Nobody gets out alive. Now, things I really liked about it was the fact that, one, it's a slasher film. Okay, there's a lot of horror films out there, and, and it really did good. You could tell a lot of 80s and 70s slasher influence into this film, especially when they get into the woods part involving the serial, uh, the, the killer, the slasher. Really liked seeing the influences in there from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, from from uh, J Friday the 13th series. You can tell these influences are in there, and I really liked seeing those. What I also liked, for the most part, was the uh, death scenes that were in here. While they weren't overly creative, they really fit the killer and his character, you know, in his style, so to speak. And he uses a sledgehammer, which I really think is neglected in most horror films. So it was pleasant to see a slasher using a sledgehammer, a, a truly neglected weapon of choice for the slasher. Uh, character. Uh, you know, and also, I enjoyed the character for the most part, the killer, though I would have liked to have him not talk. Uh, they got they got a part in there where he does speak, and uh, you know, I almost was hoping more for the silent killer uh, character, so that uh, didn't take away from the character at all, I just was a little disappointed, I was hoping th there would be no uh, speaking of it, he'd just go about his business and, and not care about telling these people anything or, or talking at all, so kind of would have liked to see him be a m little bit more of the silent killer, but didn't take away from the killer, whose name is uh, Hunter Ist, played by Brian Gallagher, who who is great because uh, he does bring a little bit of sympathy to the killer. Not a whole lot, but a little bit, because his kills are brutal. And these brutal kills are done uh, very well uh, for a low-budget film of this nature. The special effects were fine, I thought. Uh, some of these hits, because they involve in a sledgehammer, just seem extra brutal. And so it definitely gets you a little jump there, a little going, oh my god, there, because it just, the sound design in here really helped give that effect of that sledgehammer uh, hitting uh, uh, things that aren't supposed to be hit with a sledgehammer. So I enjoyed that. The overall look of the film I did enjoy as well. Kind of had that old school slasher look and feel to it, which I also enjoyed. Now there are a few things though that I didn't quite care for with the film. One of them was there are a few moments in there where you went, why exactly did that happen? Uh, you, you know, there's a scene in the convenience store near the beginning before the kids get there. You go, okay, what motivated this? And then uh, near the end, uh, there's a couple moments where people doing overly stupid things. I mean, we get stupid acts by characters in slasher films. That's what helps make the slasher films uh, interesting and make the audience go, no, don't go in there or whatnot. But in this one, there's just a couple of bits at the end, I don't want to ruin it for you, where it really made me go, really? You're going to do that, dude? <laughs> don't stop the car, okay? Uh, so, you know, stuff like that kind of got to me. And these characters, uh, the one character I really loved is Jared. He helps carry through the first chunk of the film because it is a little bit slow building. They're building up the characters, though we do get a cameo in there by Clint Howard, which was always pleasant to see. Uh, and they do establish and build up some background for Jen, the main character girl, if you will, uh, played by Jen Dance. And I liked her performance. She's a newcomer to the screen, and for her first uh, feature film, I really thought she did well in the role she was given uh, you know but there are just some weak spots in the script and, and with especially with these characters makes you wonder why they're together you know I know you get that dynamic and you want that conflict but when things start to get real hairy again they turn on themselves so quickly and we see this in a number of modern horror films and I'm I'm all for uh, giving conflict but it then questions why are these groups of people really together you know uh, they're they're just so much a little bit of conflict in there so 
there is that question in there and a few other things that make you go, huh? But they don't take away from the film. If you like, you know, you're looking for something different, you're looking for a decent slasher film, you can go uh, check out Nobody Gets Out Alive. It's not a perfect film by any means, but it's not a horrible film either. You fans of the genre can watch this film, and those who enjoy independent horror, I think, can get through this film as well. I enjoyed it, and I would recommend it to those folks who enjoy it. Uh, this type of movie. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets down.